What is up everybody? The Hunter GT. And here we are at the old Rocky Ford abandoned school that just keeps on giving. This place has given me so many coins, it is just bonkers. Uh, well over a hundred coins, maybe pushing 200. I mean, just quarter after quarter, dime after dime, penny after penny. Found some old coins here, 33 wheat penny, a couple of 50s, and early 50s, late 40s wheat pennies. No silver here yet, silver rings here. Found a silver ring with the F44 out front. Found all sorts of stuff out front by the bus stop, all sorts of stuff out here. Already have my first awesome find of today and it's actually my first find of the day. I literally walked out here, look at this green patch out here. So you see this like little green patch I'm sitting in, everything else is all dark and brown and then right here there's like this little green oasis. I said, man, I'm gonna go hunt that. There's gotta be something cool. So I found a quarter already I already found a quarter so I was like yeah this is it this is the spot well it wasn't silver but look at that pretty neat a little thimble of some sort who knows how old that is now I know this is an old school I want to say that a school before this school set here because I know a couple people that have said they've been here as uh, elementary school kids and uh, I don't know so who knows how old this this old uh, brick building Let's zoom back out there to that brick building I don't know how old it's been there but 33 wheat penny at this ground so maybe perhaps that old at least so anyways here is a cool thimble check it out guys pretty cheesed about that now it's got to be for a doll or a kid's toy maybe I don't know I mean even you know even a small child I mean look how small it is compared to my pinky and I have pretty small hands for a six-foot guy to be honest um, so I don't know it's got to be for a kid like a small child or a doll of some sort maybe they're playing thimble, real thimbles or maybe it's part of a monopoly I don't know what the monopoly thimble looks like anyways out here rocking the T2 classic as always my main detector this is what 90% of my video hunts will be coming up I'll still rock the uh, wife's gold bug and grab the kids uh, bounty hunter junior and bounty hunter gold digger from time to time can't let those just collect dust kids don't use them as much as I would like but I will go rescue them from their dark closet so there it is if you are looking for a detector why don't you go hit up Craig at showmetreasure.com you're gonna see a contact link you're gonna click that contact link you're gonna have a little form to fill out and let him know hey man the Hunter GT sent you. He said you're a rad dude, Craig, and we all know the Hunter GT tells it like it is. So maybe you can give me some sort of deal because the Hunter GT said you could give me some sort of deal. So there we go. So hit up Craig at showmetreasure.com and he will hopefully get you hooked up with a Bounty Hunter, a Garrett, a Whites, a Fisher, a Technetics, a XP Deus, a Detector Pro. He has all sorts of products and detectors and all sorts of goodies for all of you metal detecting nerds like me. That's right. Showmetreasure.com. That is it. So here we are at the old Rocky Ford School. I have the Samson laying on the ground. We got the Hori Hori knife laying right next to it. Now we do. We got the Garrett AT Pro Pointer. Snag the wife's out of the bag. The Technetics Green Machine. The Classic. We got thimbles in hand. It's a good day already. Let's get going. Let's find some more cool stuff. Well, Mr. Wheat Penny by that much. Here's a 59. So I want to say wheat pennies ended what 57 58 something like that. I want to say 57 58 so Only missed by a year maybe two years so. Pretty cool though definitely in the silver range right now And this was at exactly four inches to five inches on the pinpoint and when it popped out it was right at four inches So pretty good pretty good. Let's try to find us a damn silver the drought has been too long. I'm starting to feel like this field right here when it comes to my silver drought. As you can tell, it rains quite often on the eastern Colorado Plains. That's sarcasm, by the way, for some of you dry people. Well, I came over here in the shade underneath this big tree. Pretty big tree here. So getting a little bit hot. So 
Found a quarter though, 1990. Nothing special. We're moving away from the silver range, but I always like quarters. I always like quarters. You find these just about as much as you find anything else, and they by far outweigh everything else on monetary value. I don't know why that's not zooming in. This Sony camera sucks at macro mode. Zoom, I tell you. There we go. See, you just gotta yell at your electronics and uh, you get your way. On to the next. Well, literally right there next to the other quarter lied this quarter. So what was that last one? Was a 90 something? A 90? This is a 65. So we are getting back into the silver range. Pretty close to it anyways. Not quite the silver range or else it would be silver. Come on Hunter, use your brain. But you know, we're getting close to the silver range. So I thought it was an eight. But once I got it into the sunlight, it is absolutely a six, 1965. Right there in the same spot. I mean, it was literally one right on top of the other in that little hole. I went over it with my coil again. Heard another 88, 90. Let's dig it, 65. Let's find some more of those. A little bit older would be perfect. Mm -hmm. Just got a 69 penny. Still in the 60s. Finding some good stuff here. I mean, not super awesome, but pretty cool. Anything in the 60s always intrigues me, so pretty happy. Let's find a few more of these 60s. Let's find some 50s quarters. Come on, baby. Well guys, there it is, a 63 penny. I want you guys to name one YouTuber, other than myself, that finds this many damn pennies in the 60s, but no silver. I mean, I find wheat pennies all day. I find pennies in 1919, 1930, 1933, 1940, 1942, 46, all that and more, but no. We cannot get silver for some reason. So there it is, a 1963 penny. Gotta be a dime or a quarter or something out here that's silver. Come on, man. Well, I'm always finding 1977 pennies. Anybody that watches my channels knows every time I get a 77 penny, I'm like, another 77 because there's like 6 billion of them out there from the Denver Mint. And they all seem to be right here in La Junta. But this time I got a 77 quarter. Changed it up a little bit. And I always know, you know, 77, 77, I used to drive a 77 Nova. Oh, it was a... It was a beauty, let me tell you. It was a fun car. It had a 350 and we ripped all the smog equipment off and uh, lived life on the edge. Uh, you know, a little horsepower fun. But uh, yeah, 1977, there it is. Hmm. Not a penny for once. Pretty thrilled with that. Pretty thrilled. On to the next. There is that 1977 penny I was talking about. I cannot go a single hunt out here in Colorado without finding a 77 penny. It just blows my mind. Literally every single time I find a 77 penny somewhere. Redonkulous. Well, I found a part off of a Ford. I don't know what it could be, but it rings up like metal. It's plastic on the outside, but metal somewhere on the inside. It says F-O-R. That's definitely the Ford symbol there. On the bottom and it rings up on rings up as metal I don't know where the metal is it's in there somewhere yeah watch yeah. it's definitely metal plastic on the outside metal on the inside something of a Ford who knows leave a comment 